I've been on an emotional roller coaster with my adult daughter, staying away from her. She's abusive and blames everyone for everything. Breaks my heart as I am an empath and feel her pain, but I can't take the toxic outburst. Thank you. So here's what I would prescribe to you. Going back to Goddard, Neville Goddard, he talked about the imaginal mind, which is just your imagination. It's a landscape, but I'm here to tell you that your imagination is just as real as what you see in 3D reality. In fact, more so because through the chamber of the imagination, we can actually rendezvous, interact with, connect with other grids of consciousness, inspiration, if you will, motivation, um, and knowledge. And in this imaginal chamber where you can go very naturally, just as we all can, what you ought to do is imagine a new relationship between you and your daughter. And this is not just a fanciful, light imagination, fleeting we're thinking it and then it's gone. No, no, no. This is a meditation in which you see yourself in this scenario. Pick something realistic, by the way. If you used to cook together, for example, then we see ourselves in a kitchen. And in that kitchen, you're creating a meal together and you're having a conversation. And you're looking at your daughter. And as you do, you can see how well put together she is. And oh, isn't she articulate? And all that passion and all that bombast, look how she's now expressing herself, calling in this life that she wants to live, so powerful, balanced, well. And as you speak with her and you're looking at her and she seems so healthy and happy, as you speak to her, the conversation also reflects her condition. Mom, I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh, I figured it out. I found my person, I got on this medication, I'm seeing things a little differently, I've gotten away from this bad influence, or I've started this new job, or oh, I found my purpose, mom, and I feel so much better. And as you're imagining this in your meditation, you're feeling it too. Neville Goddard says, feeling is the secret. You can think it all day long, but if you don't feel it, you don't signal the subconscious to manifest it. Feeling is so important. And so you have to be in that imaginal chamber, having this conversation with your daughter in the kitchen or out in the garden or whatever you guys like to do. And it has to take on the tones of reality. You have to keep thinking it. Keep thinking it, not forcing it. I'm thinking this so hard. No, there's an ease to it, but there's a meaningfulness as well. You keep thinking of it until it takes on the tones of reality. You reach out and you touch her arm and you can actually feel her skin or the clothes that she's wearing. Or you touch her hair and you can feel the strands of hair because you are imagining it so meaningfully. When it takes on the tones of reality, when you can actually feel that in your meditation, release it. Release it, because when the tones of reality are there and you're truly feeling it, the subconscious has received it. We use the imaginal chamber for ourselves all the time. You want to find your dream job? You want to find your dream person? Get into the chamber. Get into the pit and try to love someone. <laughs> Get into the chamber and imagine it for yourself. Unless you can think it first in the way that you would design it, you will not receive it. We're always receiving what we are designing, but most of us are reactively designing. And you as an empath, you probably know this. And so get in there and design a new relationship with your daughter. When you spend that kind of time energetically and feelingly imagining a new outcome, it sends an invitation to the person, to their consciousness, to their awareness. Usually they don't think it thinkingly acknowledge that they're receiving this opportunity, but the soul of them receives it anyway. It's an opportunity, and sometimes it shows up in their life as a person, as a doctor, as a new job, as a new idea. And to them, it's a spontaneous thing, but it's arriving into their landscape because you imagined it. And now the universe is finding ways to offer that outcome to them. They have free will. They have free will, and they can say, no, I don't want that. The soul might not be ready yet to shift, to change, might be resisting change, and that's okay. Hold that thought. Come on in here and say hi to the lab. Hi to the lab. Are you bringing me eggnog? 
Yeah. Oh, God. Thank you. This is my husband, Jeremy Compton. Show everybody. What about turn on the lights? This is Mr. Compton. <laughs> this is the lab. It's Christmas Eve. It is Christmas. Merry, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, my gosh. I love you so much. I love you, too. Oh, I'm going to be thinking and talking about what I'm grateful for next week. Is as it we. Me? It is you. Oh. How did you know? I think you're psychic. It is you. Really? I'm so grateful for you. Oh, my God. Yes. You are my best friend. You're so pretty. You are so handsome. You're, not pretty. You're such a good boy. No. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Merry Christmas. I'm talking to the fam. The fam. I'll talk to you later. The lab fam. The lab fam. We're gonna talk later. We're gonna talk later. Stuff. Yeah. All right. You know that's right. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, back to you, my darling. So when we send the offering through the imaginal mind having imagined it a certain way thank you, you. mahalo this sends an opportunity into the reality of the person that we are offering this outcome to and again they may refuse it or they may resist it however if we continue to go into the imaginal space or the imaginal mind and we can think of different scenarios and continue to send those outcomes and those offerings it is common that the soul ultimately receives it ultimately receives it you can change the life the thinking the conditions of other people by simply imagining a different outcome for them speaking different words your words are so powerful as a man speaks, so he is, not just for the man, but for the world. You can do all these things without actually picking up a phone and talking with her, without actually having to be around her because maybe it's too chaotic. But you can do so much to change her life by getting into your meditation zone, into your imaginal chamber, and creating it there. It's powerful. It's powerful. This is how you manifest.